Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome to the very start of a brand new Terraria series. And this series is focused all on the Calamity mod. So, I've made it no secret over the past two years that I absolutely love this mod, and that is why I'm starting up a brand new season. So much has actually been added since I did my last season, and apparently we're getting even more updates Updates very soon and I actually can't wait for that so I'm starting up a brand new season where we're taking things nice and slow in season 2 and season 3 we really ramped up our skills with the mod and I tried to take down bosses as quickly as possible I gave lots of hyper cut editing but in this season, we're going to take it slow. I want to bring it back to my roots. I want to be checking out weapons that I've never seen before. I want to try combinations that I've never even experienced. And that's the amazing thing about the Calamity mod. It has absolutely so much content that I haven't even seen it all. And that makes it pretty special in my opinion and I've never seen a living tree that actually doesn't let you get past. So there's actually been a lot since we last played. And I think one of the things I'm noticing straight away is this up here. We now have a starter bag, which sounds pretty cool. I don't know what's inside of it. And then we also have Iron Heart. So this is a brand new game mode in Calamity. Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you haven't. Let's read it. Iron Heart makes dying while a boss is alive permanently kill you. This mode cannot be toggled on and off. Using this while a boss is alive will permanently kill you. Cannot be activated if your character has been in game for more than a minute. And it cannot be activated if any boss has been killed. That sounds insane and it's not something I want to do. That is made for one man and one man only and his name is Leviathan. My name is Chippy and I just can't handle a thing like that so... Maybe we'll leave that in a chest somewhere, it can gather some dust and we can just brush it aside. But I want to make this a daily series, I want to share my life with you. I want to tell stories about my washing machine and learning how to drive and, and really dumb stuff like that that I used to do. Because it's been almost two years, would you believe it, since my season one of Calamity. And that was like a video I made and I didn't know if it would even be like fun to watch. So I published it on a second channel that had no subscribers. And what do you know? It was like kind of like an overnight success. So I've been dying to uh, to bring back some nostalgic vibes for uh, for all of those original people. And also to welcome some new people to the channel. You might actually be new. I don't know who you are, but we can get to know each other, right? <laughs> so I've got a cactus on my right, and I've got some stuff on my left. So Ironheart, it's definitely off the table. I don't want to even consider it. I think I would pull out every single hair on my head and this beard that I've got rocking on right now um, before I did that mode. There's no beard in the real world. I have to let you know if you ever find me in real life, you will be disappointed. I do not look like the old man. And you would be surprised the amount of people that find me in the real world and they're like, you look different. I'm not old. <laughs> I'm 21. Hi. And I'm dead. <laughs> so that's me. I think that sums up the entire series. I think we're good to start. I'm going to open up that starter bag though because I, I think it's probably going to have something inside of it that might actually help me out. So, bam. Wow. That's actually really cool. I do believe that is from Calamity. I, I'm not actually sure now that I've opened it. I wish I could go back and check. I love this. This is like... I feel like this is made for YouTubers in a way because it gives YouTubers everything they need. Look, I don't need to go looking for chests. I can already keep it nice and unorganized. Uh, I've got a staff. I've got a bow. I hope that was Calamity. I really do because uh, Calamity fans will be disappointed if I, uh, if I got some kind of cheat. That's really cool. I like that. Um, I guess we'll get a slime staff going on. I mean, these don't really do too much, do they, anyway? So that's cool. And I, I love the slime crown. I think that's a neat addition. So there is one more mode that we can activate that we've got on our hot bar. I'm going to break it down for those who haven't seen Series 2. Um, and I'm going to leave this up to you guys to decide whether we turn this on or not. Completely up to you. I don't mind playing it. I don't mind not playing it. It's called Revengeance Mode, and it's not like it used to be. Activates Revengeance Mode can only be used in Expert Mode, so we already have Expert Mode. Activates Rage, which is a new stat. 
rage is gained from actually taking damage. It also gives you adrenaline. Adrenaline is gained from fighting a boss and not taking damage. And you also do 5% more damage, but you also take 5% more damage. Uh, you also get a few more uh, change every time you kill an enemy. Um, before you have killed a boss, some about 20% less damage from everything. Changes all the boss AI, all that stuff. So yeah, so let me know if you want that on. I'll leave a card on screen now in the top right hand corner. You can vote whether you want this series to be Revengeance or not. It will make it harder. So it might make the series longer or it might make it more frustrating to watch. I don't know, but I want to give you guys the choice to actually have that. Death mode though, we won't be doing that. Um, <laughs> I learned my lesson last time. I still can't beat Supreme Calamitous. So holding my hands up here. Hold my hands up. I can't do it. Let's actually find a cave, though. Because we've got this shine potion, and I, I think that's great. And we've also got this swiftness potion, so let's let's do something. Let's let's find something good. Now, I don't know if ice water actually uh, drowns you a lot faster in the Calamity mod when you're playing normally. So I'm going to have to find out, and hopefully not the hard way. Okay, nothing over here. It kind of makes me want to get a bug net, though, because I keep finding all these worms, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to kill you. Huh. So nothing, nothing too good here. That's fine. Um, oh, oh, there you go. There's that drowning sensation. Thank you, Calamity, for uh, for all of that. But I want to make this series really chill. In all honesty, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to like fill it with lots of uh, jump cuts like some of my recent series. I want it to be like a casual series where. We just have fun, and we test out new weapons, and, and I ask you guys what weapons you want to see, and we make weapons, and, and stuff like that. So, let me tell you a little bit of a story while we're uh, searching for a cave. So, this happened to me the other day. I always like to, uh, to share a little bit of my life. So, the other day, I was driving, right? I say the other day. It was yesterday. I was driving, and, uh, and I parked up my car near a shop, right? And 30 seconds later, maybe a minute, 30 seconds to a minute later... Where I just come from was a four-car crash. Four cars all crashing into each other. So I feel very blessed. <laughs> That's my story. And there's nothing else to that, but... <laughs> Those poor... Every, everyone was all right. Everyone was fine. It was a very minor speed crash. People being silly on the road, as they always do. And then, other than that, what can I say? I've been hanging out with Python a whole bunch. Python is obviously another Terraria YouTuber. I, I, I think, though, people know him more for his Minecraft channel, Python MC, these days. But uh, I've been hanging out with him a lot because we uh, we live really close now, which has been really cool. He's, like, the first person I actually know where I live, so pretty amazing. And I haven't found a chest or an opening to a world yet. So I'm going to have to find one on my own, I think. Ooh, lots of cactuses. Let's grab some cactus. Because then we can make some armor. And we can be protected. Hmm. Where do you think we'll find a... Um, I might dig down. I might dig down, honestly. Because that, that's going to like give me a little bit of, a, of time to reflect on this world. I'm not always the biggest fan of worlds without natural chasms. But this is a small world. It's a small expert world. So I kind of understand the fact that we don't actually um, have like a natural cave system. But if I can find one over here to the left, I'll, I'll take it. If not, what we'll do is we'll um we'll definitely go. All right, I'm gonna die here. Bam. See you later. Right, I'm gonna do some digging now. Now, I would bring you along for the digging, but trust me, you do not want to see this because it might actually take a hell of a long time. I had a strong feeling this would require a lot of mining. I just knew it would be my luck. Look at that. So I think one thing that would be really cool is I can't take Python's time all of the time. He's a very busy dude. He runs two channels. And he's got a lot going on. He just bought a house. But I think it'd be really cool if every once in a while he just, like, joined us for a little bit. Maybe we could make some, like, armor sets for him just to uh, just to check out. And we can take down a boss or two. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think I'd like to add that to the series. But so far, I mean, nothing down this hole yet. I left a little bit of water, as you guys can tell, just right here. So I can jump down again. But I think what I might do is I might start another track down. Because I don't want to dig through all this water. Because it's a hell of a lot of water, right? Um, ooh, there is an ice biome over here. Alright, so yeah, I've left that little bit of water. And then I should be able to get down. Oh, this oh, this is it. This is actually it. I've done it. I found a cave system. I've got a nice way of getting back down again. This is, this is actually kind of golden. And what will our first golden chest be? Right. Huh. James has mentioned Python multiple times today. 
This will probably be a flare gun. You guys ready? What is it? Oh, it's it's climbing shoes. I'm all right with that. And more potions as well. I'll definitely take those regen ones. So one of the things I've decided not to do in this series is install the, um, the I can't remember what it's called, the uh, Magical Storage mod. Magical Storage mod is this really awesome mod that I use in a lot of series now, where it essentially just makes it so you don't ever have to make chests and stuff like that. But I found that it became like really, um, I don't know, it took like a little bit of magic out of it for me. I kind of like that moment of confusion where I don't know where anything is. And I like being able to look at the items I've actually got all of the time. Like I like sorting them into chests and stuff. It's not as uh, convenient, I guess. But uh, I've definitely uh, I've definitely kind of like grown a bit tired of the mod. So I've decided to not use it in this series and to, to make all of my own stuff. Oh my god, two diamonds. Pretty nice. Okay, so I think that's going to be something up there to the, uh, to the upper left. So I'm going to work my way there. And I've got four minutes left on this mining potion and I don't want to uh, misuse it. So I'm just going to get up there real quick. Oh, okay. This is brand new. I don't actually know what this is. Is it from Calamity? Is it not? I don't know. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, so this is from Calamity. I do remember this. This gives you the tiger climbing gear. So already, I don't need the shoe spikes. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped with that. I feel like uh, Calamity is giving me an amazing first episode. Thank you, Calamity. I bow to you. Because <laughs> this is good. That was really good. I had no idea it was there as well. I was on about this little, like... Um, this life crystal. That's what I thought was going to be amazing. So I'm definitely pleased with climbing gear. Although it makes kind of jumping around like this kind of strange. I don't know. A little bit strange. Maybe I'll zoom in. Woo! There we go. Alright, we're pretty close. And I'll drain all this uh, this water out and grab this life crystal. We're at 100 health. Pretty good. Not bad. Okay. So, 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 so close. What is that? I feel like that's a... Ooh, okay. It's just a potted area. Not bad. Not bad. I will actually zoom out. Just to make sure that we can uh, see if anything new pops up. Right. I can't pick it up because I've already got too much stuff. Bam. Awesome. All right. That's our first life crystal and I'm drowning because ice. And there's also a water chest. That's cool. Right. So if I was to pick my perfect item out of here, it would be like a weapon to do with the ice biome or it would be water walking boots. It's a breathing rod. Of course it's a breathing rod. It's always the bleeding, bleeding rod. Bleeding rod? Yeah, I don't know my words, but yeah, of course it is. Right. Well, more potions as well. I'm happy about the potions. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like the, the mod's on point with the potions today. I'll put these away. So, I think because it's night time, I might do a little bit more digging. And then what I'll do is I'll go and set up a house when it gets a little bit brighter. So that I can actually get my merchant, because I've got one gold and a half. And that's definitely enough. Oh, never mind. I know exactly what it is. It's the part of the map I've already explored. I know you guys love me talking about my washing machine, but there actually is like a problem with it. Last year, my washing machine broke, or it was the year before, and I had this little story about it for going on for ages, but I was washing my clothes earlier, and I pulled them out, and they smelled like they were on fire. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think... You know, there should be an open flame inside of your washing machine. So, I don't know. I feel like this new one is completely knackered. And I'm going to have to, like, ring them up and be like, Hey, can you can you fix my washing machine? I don't know. I rewashed it and the smell of fire went away. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep you updated with that. Because I, I genuinely think that's a concern. So, if you can, please pledge some money to Chippy's Couch. Because we need a new washing machine. I'm just kidding. Uh, you can't pledge money. Like, there's no, there's no possible way of doing it. And to be honest, even so, that would probably mean I'd have to let you use it. And I don't want to share that kind of thing with you. So we'll just... It's off the, it's off the table. Ooh, so super far out zoom, eh? I forgot that we got given Spolunker potions. So I'm like, well, I may as well actually just go and check out whatever I can see. So there's one che chest here. And if we can find another one or a heart crystal, I will let you know. Let's see what's inside. So, it's Flurry Boots. I'm genuinely so happy about that. I've had multiple series recently where I haven't found any Hermes boots or anything like that. And it's taken forever. So, I'm genuinely pleased about that. Right. How can I make this area here a little bit better? I guess I can get rid of the mushrooms. Because, look, I'm running out of space already. At least I can take this chest with me. So, in a minute, I will go and set up some actual chests and storage in that. 
Okay, things got tense. Things got tense and didn't end well. I fell down. I got hit by this dude. I tried to run away. I got hit by a dart. <laughs> Not my best work. Right, so I think it's time to build our starting home. So, something I haven't done in a little while, I am going to do a speed up. So, I will see you guys in a minute with a beautiful new home. And maybe I'll even put some nice music on top. Although, fun fact, right? Fun fact. My most popular video that I've ever made on this channel is episode one of Calamity Series 1. And one of the things I did in that is I accidentally put the wrong music in it. So it got copyright claimed, which is fair enough because I shouldn't have used somebody else's music without a license. I have a license for my other channel. So I never made a penny off it. And it was my most popular video. How could I have been such a moron? Anyway, see you in a second. Okay, so that is the house. I don't know how it looks when I'm, a, you know, when you're an outsider, when you're not me, but I kind of like it. It's cozy, it reminds me of classic Terraria. It's not too big and it's kind of meant as like a starting base. So I've got all of my chests that I need. I've got my crafting area. I've got a little area for pink vase. I've got a window that kind of looks like a, a tipped over ball almost. And I've got two doors, one in the front, and I've got one to exit the building. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the series. I had a lot of fun making it. I can't wait to jump into tomorrow's episode and actually get crafting some modded items. So if there is anything you actually want to see me make, leave a comment down below. And if you're new here, let me know. I would love to chat. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.